Blint, snare onto Oriana. That's instant cocoon. It's gonna hit. Oh, the pick potential from the Rocks Tigers is absurd. Insane. The fact that Jin could open Ori out a little bit. Oh, there he is. The brush, there it is. It's Peanut. A lot of damage down. 300 HP on Bangi. They repel the chase. Couple more attacks. The flash. One more Q will get him. And Peanut solo kills for first blood. He reads the game. The blue buff handoff. I have this setup. They have two pink wards in this bottom side. That's the lack of vision. There we go. See. They get him again. Another stun into the room. Into all the damage. And yes, they pick him off. Bray gets Wolf. 2-0, Rocks Tigers. And I said two pink wards. It's actually three. So bouncy and full of energy. Rocks Tigers, definitely a good start to the game. Yeah, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. Oh, time for the flash. The kick on the gorilla. The Q lands as well. He flashed to get back with his tri brush, but has nowhere to go. Wolf, sadly for SKT, is the one to secure the gold. The 300 going to support Nami. They want to be able to control the bottom side of this map. Ooh, Shockwave's gonna land go. all the damage they need! And Peanut fails to repel it. What a great kill for SKT. Or even just flat. The side lanes and having Faker win in the mid lane. It's so fitting in the fifth game how SKT nearly take both side lane turrets while their mid lane turret is the one that is low. It has been such a close game. And Bengi caught by Peanut. And it's Bengi trying to get away. He's only in range for one more shot. And he's oh, got to go to the Kuro, actually. Beautifully executed. Rock Tigers do find their way in. Now they have to He's found other advantages though as well. The shockwave's gonna hit Gorilla. He flashed up, but not in time. Faker gets the kill. Now the re-engage though. It snipes on toward the mid laner. Then back towards Wolf, but just not enough damage really dealt. The knock up in for Duke means a bit more towards Smep. Half a P1000 in the Jace. Now look they're looking for no Q1 top. They want it to. He's in range for a play. Q's gonna land on to Smep. The kick flash, the knockback's not in time. Here comes the rest of it. A nice tackle for Duke. The tidal wave, the bubble, all the damage they could need. Curl's trying to help. And can they get Bangy? Yes, it's a one for one. Now the re engage on Duke, deadly flourish, misses, but curtain call could land. Slow on the wolf. Faker comes to help, and he forces the flash out of prey. And it's now the re engage. Look at the damage Bang can deal. Kuro in danger. And yeah, not too much gain. Peanut and Prey walking back through the side. And out of range of everything else. No Q gonna land for Bangy. Arrow yeah, go in the face, and Prey is not long for the world. There's a kill coming through to Duke himself. SKT still on the chase, though. Can they get a slow on a gorilla? No, not just yet. Bangs, Ash Arrow. That pick has been so pivotal in this semifinal series, and they get Gorilla. Gorilla flash. Maybe a little bit more. Tidal wave, and oh! Faker. Faker blowing up, but Gorilla can be next. No! A great flash with the shield. Now the chase is slow from Kuro. Duke disengages one. It's Smep out of the fight, but there could still be enough. Disengage you right, Duke. He's definitely doing his role. Ooh. A 20 the rush Baron. minute Baron. Do they Lee Sin is alive, but no smite right now for Bangy, and it won't be up in time. Yet. But they don't no, know no, that. No. He got okay. 2700, but he can't but he do it with fight. It's going to be all about no, it. He's in the pit, and it's the kill on the peanut. It's the right. right for either side, and it goes to Spep to try to save the game. But it's so many kills coming through for SKT. Spep cannot pick up Bang, and it's a four for zero. What? Team, get a better one next. Say better. Oh, it's Smeb getting caught up with this one though. Jumping over to the minions, trying to get away from Bang. Thankfully not slowed by the volley. And he is gonna get his life out of this one. But the Q's gonna land. The tackle, the knockup, they want Kuro. The kickback out of Prey. That's already one. Will it get two? Looks like yes, Bangy secures it. And SKT on an absolute tear. Looking for more. Faker. Chased by Faker, stays alive. They can help from Wolf. The re-engage Bangy is low. Smeb tries to carry the fight. Just a clean two for zero. No stun's gonna land. The scaling advantage of that poppy in the Jace match. Definitely because he's just out of the car. Big win. Another shockwave right here. Gorilla getting knocked around. Arrow into everything else they could need. A two man knock him. And Bangy wants maybe a bit more, but he bites off more than he could chew. That's one for one. Jungler for support down. But look at this. Duke is invincible, and the bot lane turret's already dead. Maybe not as invincible as we think, though. Still getting worn down. But Sveb goes for a shot onto the back line. Another root onto Duke gets healed up again by the Nami. And just no damage really comes through on this one. But it's going to be the shot and the bang. Deadly flourish picks him up. He's dead. He don't know. But Peanut doesn't know. He doesn't want to face it because he sees three members in the mid lane. This is so created by SKT. The guts it requires to call this Nasher. Faker's half held half on it. If they chase them down, they'd get the kill. They need to get the Baron and get out of there. That's going to be secured. Now is there going to be a fight on the backside? They have all the tools they need. The vision is theirs. Oh, Rocks going are pretty flying aggressive. wide. Turning it back in, looking for the play. Go. This is the fight that could punch the to the finals. Pray for Bang, and Bang wins his shock. Blast is not enough. Bangy on the chase. Not gonna get it though. Smeb knocks him back, but it is 5v4. No AD carry for Rocks Tiger. SKT do not want to wait for Rocks to face sec. Instead, they take the fight to them. Faker, Baron, and Elder. And Faker even takes the Wolves, so Pina can't get the Wolf Spirit Scout when they're trying to save this. They're just burning down that Baron, and Rocks can't even check.
not even a chance to let Rox, Tigers, and Oriana ult. He has zoning tools. And they have ward control in Rox's jungle. So if Rox comes to defend, they would teleport behind them. That is something Rox wants no part of. But now it means they have to deal with a quadruple elemental Drake Elder Dragon, which is if he moves in, Guru and Ray have to be so careful. Coat continues, Bang gets hit with a shock blade, lands, but look at this now. Down to just the inhibitor itself, a knockback. They might catch up, Gorilla. Not gonna have it just yet, but Prey caught out and shut down by Bangy. 5v4, and SKT could have another win on this one. Shot. Not gonna land just yet. Still going in. Engage the stun against the wall. Peanut could go down to Bangy, getting the kill again as they move on to the Nexus turrets. And it's all the FG rope for this one. SK Telecom T1 backs against the wall. Bangy himself. 3-0 against Rox Tigers in the series, and SKT punch their ticket to their third world final. And the team rush towards Bangi, who is 3-0 in this incredibly intense and competitive series against the Rox Tigers. And for the Rox Tigers, you can't help but feel their pain. They were one game away from taking SKT out of the World Championship, but they just couldn't finish it. And they had so many of the pieces to the Jace comes through, the champion that SKT were so afraid of playing against. Smeb, the best player in the world coming into the tournament, certainly the best top laner, gets his most favorite champion now in this one. Peanut had that sick early jungle play, getting the solo kill, getting first blood onto Bangi. SKT's teamwork, turning it around in the end. But the Tigers went down fighting and they delivered a fantastic series here. No matter who